Hi, how are you? It's Iris Carlson and it's been such a long time since I last made a video and I thought it was about time to make another video so ta-da! Here it is. It's Friday evening, it's almost midnight, I am in my PJs and I've been coding all day and I've been practicing on a presentation I'm going to do during Tech Day so I'm going to take part of the keynote and I'm going to show some really awesome OCR stuff. Now OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition, which is a library that lets us recognize characters from an image. And that is really cool and it's actually so good, it does such a good job, I was completely blown away. So I just have to show you this stuff. I'm going to keep it very, very, very simple. The end result of the application I'm going to show you later in a month or so and that's going to have way more to it. But I wanted to make sure that I could show you the very basic so you could get started with this as well and please tell me the cool stuff you end up using it for and yeah without more talking let's just go ahead and start coding the OCR library for the Windows Runtime was released not too long ago and if you haven't tried it yet this is a perfect opportunity so make sure that you do try it now the only thing I've done so far in this particular demonstration is that I've created a blank Universal Store application. A Universal Store application targets both Windows Store and Windows Phone, so you get two applications for the price or for the code of one. In this demonstration we are actually able to share all the code and all the view code as well, all the XAML, which is awesome! So the only thing I've added in the view so far, I noticed that I've uh, pulled down the main page to be shared, so it's in the shared project, and I've deleted it from Windows Phone as well as Windows 8. And I have uh, a grid with a nice little dark slate blue background, and inside the grid I have a button which has a... Uh, an event handler in the code behind. I'm not using any patterns for this. It's a very simple application. Of course, if you want to make something decent, you got to use MVVM. We all know how important that is. Then there is a text block that stretches to the whole screen and I've given it a name so I can access it, uh, access, it, uh, access it from code behind. You can tell it's pretty late and I'm getting tired and I should probably have uh, some more caffeine because I'm going to be up all night coding. Oh yeah, baby. So it's called uh, Output because I couldn't think of anything better. Now the first thing that you need to do before you even try to install the NuGet package is to right-click on the project and open up the Configuration Manager. Now the OCR library has a restriction. You can't have it uh, set to the platform any CPU. I've set them to x86, both of them, so I'm able to run the emulator because you can't do it if you set it to ARM. So that's it, that's set. So I'm going to close down that. Then the next thing you need to do is, of course, right click again and you want to open up the new Git uh, package manager. So what you do is you go online and you just search for OCR and you just give it a little bit of time. I got pretty good internet connection, but this thing is always slow. As you can see, there is a Microsoft OCR library for Windows Runtime and I have already got ahead and installed it. So we have it, as you can see, ta -da -ta -ta, in both the projects. Whenever you want to use a package or any library from a shared folder, then you need to add a reference to both the projects. Otherwise, Visual Studio is not going to be happy and, of course, you're not going to be able to use the code. So we've done that, and I can now collapse the Windows Store and the Windows Phone projects here, because I'm not going to do anything there. Let's get started with this. So an uh, OCR library always uses some sort of engine, and the engine is going to do all the calculations and all the nice little de nitty gritty details, and I have no idea how it actually does it in details, but basically it loads in the image and it tries to recognize text, and it's really awesome how it does that. Because it's not just a matter of recognizing one character, it has to kind of recognize it as lines as well and, you know, have separate words and so on. And I just find it fascinating that somebody was able to put that together so well. Wait and see. So I'm going to uncomment here the first line. So the first thing you need to do is to reference the OCR engine and you can pass in the language that you want to use. It supports several languages and there is a language list you can access if you want to see which languages are supported. But for now, let's just stick to English. I'm going to go here at the top and show you which namespace you need to reference and that's the Windows Preview Media.exe. 
OCR. So I've done that and before I skip ahead and show you a little bit more, um, I need to show you the image we're going to be working with. So I've added an image to the project. This is the image. This is where I live now. I currently live in Peterborough. I'm looking to move to London. Dear God, get me out of here. And this is a picture I took out on the street. So I was just curious if it would work with this. There are other things, distracting elements. You know, you got the house, you got the patterns on the brick wall and so on. So let's see how well it actually reads this image. So I've added the image to the project and that's the image we're going to use. Now of course you probably want to use the camera on the phone or on the computer that runs the application. But to keep it simple now we're going to use this image because that's the part that really relates directly to the OCR demonstration. So the first thing that we're going to do is to grab the folder where we have installed the image. And let me go ahead and close down Solution Explorer. So we're going to set this to application model package dot current dot installation location because that's where the application is installed. And afterwards we can go ahead and grab the image. This is an asynchronous method, so we need to use await. That's why we have async void. Usually you wanna avoid async void, but since this is an event handler, we are allowed to do that. And as a matter of fact, that's why they allowed it in the first place. Once we got the image we need to get the image properties. In particular, we need to get the width and the height of the image because what we're going to do is go ahead and grab some information about the image and then create a writable bitmap. <clears throat> My throat is getting a bit dry here. So let me uncomment out the first part here. So the first thing we do is we open the image, we open the stream, we open the image and we create a stream and we make sure that it's only read-only because that's the only thing we need to do. The next thing we do is create a writable bitmap because that's the bitmap we're going to pass into the OCR engine because we can't pass in the actual image that we are accessing uh, because that's just not going to work. After we've done that we're going to set the source of the new bitmap to the image stream that we have because otherwise it's going to be an empty bitmap and as you can see here we are using the image properties width and height in the new bitmap we're creating. So the next part we're going to do is to go ahead and grab the results from the image. So we are already managing to read out text from the image so there are very few lines of code they've ab abstracted it nicely away but there's a lot you can do with this even if they've abstracted away so much so the engine itself has recognized a synchronously message or uh, message or recognize a sync and you need to pass to it width and height and then you also need to pass to it the pixel buffer and make sure that you do two array and this is of the bitmap that we created and not the original file. Now to just have a place to add the text I've just declared a variable here which is just an empty string at the moment and what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and go through all the results that we get from the OCR engine. So the result that we get, the OCR result, is going to provide us with lines, lines of text and inside each line of text we are going to have the words and that is what we want and it's just really simple as this so for every line and we're going to select all the lines for every single line we're going to go ahead and grab the words and for each word we're going to append them to our text variable and then we're going to set um, the whole lot to or not the whole lot we're going to append them little by little to the output text and thinking about it I don't even need to do that I could just do do this. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Anyways, then I can actually remove the variable there. Coolio. So we got this. And do we need anything more? No, we don't. So let's go ahead and try with that image. And let me just remind you how the image looks like. Uh, if now Snagit wants to stop showing up. And this is the image we're dealing with. I reckon it's not an easy image. I've managed to make it work with even worse images and with documents it works so well. I don't ever have to just try to scan PDF code. Uh, I don't have to just use images and not being able to grab out the text. Perfect for maybe, I don't know, reading business cards or um, reading in bank information from a bank statement, etc. Und so weiter. I didn't even pronounce it right, did I? Unsurvited? I don't know. My my German is really crap. So, anyways, let's go ahead and run this first in the emulator, which is the Windows Phone emulator. 
It's massive on the screen, it takes up the whole screen, which is awesome, because that's what we want to do. Of course, a little bit slow to deploy, but give it a little bit of time. Here we have it, fantastic, beautiful, the best UI I've ever done in my life. I'm going to click on the button, get image, I'm going to wait, not very long, and there we go. That's the information from the image. Isn't that ridiculous? That is, I mean, this stuff is just, I find this really, um, I'm, I'm easily entertained maybe, but I find this really awesome. Let's change this to, um, to Windows Store, and I'm going to run this in the simulator. Because I don't know how the screen record is going to uh, react to uh, modern UI apps. I haven't tried, I don't want to do it now. We got the same UI and I click select image and it gets it much faster because I ran it in the emulator which it's supposed to emulate a, like a low-end device so it's a little bit more slow. And oh, a lot of crazy things happening here. Snagit is giving me trouble. But that's the application and that's the everything that it actually read out. And it's really exactly what was in the image on that sign. And the image was this one here. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So please give this a try. Tell me what you think about it, what you think of it, and tell me what you're going to do with it. There are so many things to do. I'm going to release an application and now this weekend, but I'm probably publishing this video on Monday, so I'll add a link to the application. You can play around with it. It should be in the store fairly soon. But I'm always keen on hearing more ideas and thank you for watching and I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep the videos a bit more uh, frequent. I'm going to Japan for three weeks so there are going to be a lot of videos and a lot about the Japan trip. I'm going with two of my best friends Daniel and Jonas, two fellow developers. It's going to be super nerdy, super geeky, we're going to have so much fun and we're going to eat so much. Uh, portion sizes there are terribly, terribly small so I don't think I'm going to chubby up. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening and watching and have a freaking fantastic day. Bye!